makes dumb jokes while he shoots his guns. Major Slack is lots of fun. Major Slack videos. Yeah, <laughs> this is fun. <laughs> Shut up, Pee Wee. Okay. All right, how y'all doing? Welcome back to Major Slack Videos. Here, first off, for titillating tactical gaming, we're playing Far Cry 3 on the Master Difficulty setting, and the next mission up the bat is Harvest the Jungle. It's basically the in-game tutorial on crafting and hunting. We're going to get to that in a minute. Uh, for now, some of the stuff I did last video didn't stick because we're uh, running off auto saves, and I'll explain about the manual saves and the auto save system later when uh, we are actually able to save the game. We can't save the game now because we're locked into the story mission line. All right, so we got a couple of boxes, sorry, chests of loot here. I'm going to do this again. And another chest of loot over here. I'm not doing this twice. It just didn't stick because everything I did for demonstrational purposes last video um, came after the auto save. Right? So here's the green leaf that we collected earlier, and as you see, the weapon I had is still the 1911 handgun. Didn't actually take on board the um, the STG 90 assault rifle. Let's go do that now. Sell off everything. Um, sell stuff. You can sell everything. Um, if you want to sell just the stuff that's not needed for crafting, such as all these items here, this is needing for crafting, just hit the quick sell button, all right? And automatically sells all the stuff that uh, is not needed for crafting. Okay, so that's all we're keeping is this green leaf here. Uh, we have 16 uh, spaces in the rucksack. The rucksack is your inventory. That's going to be the size of the rucksack. It's going to be increased later on. For now, Let's take on the SDG-90 Assault Rifle. This we can get for free because we activated the first radio tower. And equip it, put it in this weapon slot here. Those radio towers online. Make sure we got it. If yes, we do have it. There we go. Stop in and that is that. Exit by the northeast. To find a vehicle. And our objective is reach the hunting ground. As soon as we come out of the village, we equip our weapons. There we go. I know, total waste of ammo. I couldn't help see myself. Should be some ammo over here. That probably didn't stick either. No? Okay, it's gone. Okay, never mind. Alright, so let's take a look at the map of Rooney here. We are there. The objective marker is this yellow dot there. Right, that's where you have to go. We're just gonna drive all the way there. Whoops, I'm gonna drive all the way down there and up there and continue. I'm gonna do a lot of looting on the way though. Uh oh, here come the cops. <laughs> Major Slack is playing video games again. stop at this little shack here, what I like to call the blue shack. Whee! And you can do skid turns in this game, as, I, as you just saw. Once again, look on the mini-map for stuff to loot. A little bit of chump change there. Should be two boxes out here to loot. One. One over here. Did slack all it, it did slack all it, and one in here got the jump change. Here's the third box. There you go, you can see some more diamond icons uh, marked on the map, but those are down in a cave below. Where's the cave? I'm gonna show you in a minute. Now we can start collecting leaves. Back plants and animals, which ones? Okay, so there's the list we have to collect. We have to collect one red leaf, one green leaf, and one blue leaf. All right, and two boar skins. All right, and you can see the leaves marked on the mini map there, so they're really easy to find. All right, there's the red leaf, the green leaf here. What are the leaves for, Stack? Well, um, Dennis is actually going to explain that at the end of the mission, so I'll leave it to him, and then what he doesn't explain, um, I'll fill in the details afterwards. All right, let the game do its job. He's not my job. <laughs> Alright, so we got all those leaves. Here's the cave where you can find some more loot. Looting it up here, boss. 
Make sure you grab every single nickel you can find in the beginning of the game because it's very important. You want to be able to buy better weapons um, as soon as possible. I always get lost in this cave and I've been in here a bazillion times. There we go. It's got all the loot. Let's go play with the camera. All right, press the camera button and you get, it's kind of like a binoculars, okay? See? And there's some boars. That's what we have to hunt. As soon as you tag, as soon as you like spot any living thing with the camera, it gets this little icon over its head, identifying it, okay? And this is like, you see, it's kind of like a jaws icon indicating that this is an animal that can hurt you and even kill you. And on master difficulty, all the animals are forced to be reckoned with, even those little castle wearies, I believe they're called. Those little flight, light, flightless birds. I've had one of those actually kill me on the Master Difficulty setting. A little embarrassing, but yeah, they, they're a force to be reckoned with. So I want to tag out four boars here. I want all four boars. Um, we only have to kill two, but I want four. So we got three. I think there's one over there somewhere. One second. There we go. So there we got all four. One, two, three, and four. All right. So let's go pig hunting. Well, they're not pigs, but hey, either. Yes. Get them. All right. You can do this. I've got you. Yeah. <laughs> all right. And once you kill them, interact with them and you skin them. Ew. And Jason never ever gets used to skinning animals. Animals. He's gonna be going ew all the way through to the end of the game. Unfortunately, there he goes. And here, piggy, 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 here, pig. And animals are also susceptible to headshots. If you want to save ammo, shoot them in the head. So we got, we got ourselves two boar hides. That's all you need to complete uh, this mission. But like I said, I want four. And this one's going to drag me all over creation here. Where do you think you're going? Yeah, you. Here, face your destiny. You can also melee them. Here, piggy, 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 piggy. Fuck. Okay, so we got ourselves three boar hides. This is very important, okay? I'm not just doing this for fun. This is very important. Let's see the boar attack you, Slack. You want to see the boar attack me on master difficulty? Okay. Here, boar. Attack me. Ow, see? See that? <laughs> He's going to kill me. Okay. See that? He took me down to within an inch of my life. Just a few gores there. Took me down to an inch of my life. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> Animals are definitely... They're a force to be reckoned with. Seriously. Yeah. Disgusting. Okay, so we got ourselves four boars here. Um, what else do we need? Let's loot first. Should be a chest here somewhere. There it is. One chest there. There we go. Uh, so we got one red leaf, we got two green leaves, you only need one more item. That's a blue leaf. Blue leaves are always found in or under the water. All right. And I just want to check my inventory here. I have one space left for the blue leaf. That's very good. Dunk into the drink. Look for the blue leaf. Man, I'm gonna die here. Yeah, it's right down below. Here it is. A breeze. What? 
Kumi or whatever. Anyways, so that's it. We have completed this this mission here. All we have to do is fast travel back to Amaniki Town and talk to Dennis. He's going to tell us all about um, crafting. There, Amaniki Town is a fast travel point. Double click on that, and away we go. Now we're in the uh, safe house, essentially in Amaniki Town, and all safe house, safe houses have these guns for sale machines and you can do business at them so let's do some business quick sell our items normally we'd be able to sell all the stuff if we so desired but we can't because there's a crafting tutorial coming up so that's locked out for now let's go talk to Dennis to find Dennis we look for the objective marker the objective marker is over there Here's Dennis. Dennis, you've got the plants and animals. Good. Then bend nature to your will. I will teach you. All right. Um, crafting. Hit that now up. Use the plants you found to craft two syringes. Medicine syringes, they heal you up. Uh, basically, the difference between what you just saw me do, healing, healing myself up, which is called first aid, is medicine syringes do it quicker and often do give you a lot more health, depending on what skills you have, than um, first aid, all right? So we we have to craft two medicine syringes. One, Good. two, that's yes, it. Sir. You may even find more powerful plants out in the woods, if you are lucky. Now, use the skins of the animals you killed to enlarge what you can carry. Crafting will allow you to carry more weapons, money, loot, and syringes. Next up the bat, we have to craft a simple rucksack. It's gonna give us more uh, space in our inventory or rucksack as it's officially known as. It's gonna give us, it's basically gonna get double the space in our inventory, all right? This is what we have to craft now. Yes, one last thing. A simple the rucksack. Tattoo on your arm. It is a sign that you are special, that you have the soul of a warrior. You progressed along the path. Let me show you how to add to them. With each tattoo, a skill is mastered. You can choose to learn skills in three different areas. Now, I will teach you the takedown. All right, the takedown is in the shark skill tree. We have the three different skill trees here, the heron, the shark, and the spider. It's in the shark skill tree. Only one skill available. That one right there. Take down. You sneak up behind the guy, stab him with a knife, and he's dead. And we're going to get it. Learn the skill. Yes, done. sir. As you become stronger, with each new skill you learn, the tata will grow. Choose another. Alright, so that's how that works. The first skill is mandatory. You have to get take down. The next skill is optional. You have two choices. Either cook grenades or sprint slide. Sprint slides over here in um, the spider skill tree. I highly recommend if you're playing on a higher difficulty setting like warrior or master to get cook grenades. It's very important to be able to um, have a grenade explode when you want it to because um, taking down vehicles and taking down enemies is going to be a lot easier with that skill, right? So get cook grenades. You have done well, Jason. The Tatao. driving to the outpost near Amanaki. We have one of the Americans. Come, have some fun. What the hell? No. Lisa. Oh, shit. We, we have to get her back. Come, follow. All right, now before you get into the vehicle there, make sure you collect this amber leaf. I noticed that there's a bit of a discrepancy between what they called the colors of the leaves when we we're doing that tutorial there and what they're actually called it's actually not yellow leaves but amber leaves and it's not red leaves but crimson leaves if I'm not mistaken yeah and make sure absolutely sure you go over here and grab yourself a grenade and a Molotov I believe that's very important that you get that grenade right you could buy a grenade at the store or buy a, a mine or a C4 but uh, save yourself some money just grab that free grenade there that's gonna be very important I'm gonna show you why uh, next mission so now if we can get in 
Uh, three new syringe recipes are available. What's this outpost they've taken Lisa to? The outposts are strongholds found throughout Rook Island. Bass's pirates hold them to control the surrounding area. So we're heading into a fight? Yes, a worthwhile one. Rescuing your friend will kill two pigs with one stone. We are at war with Vass. Taking outposts from the pirates is key to reclaiming the island. We conquer one for the Rakiat, the area becomes safer. This means faster travel for everyone. And new opportunities to develop your skills as a warrior. Who's in the truck? Rakiat warriors. The true Rakiat who live at the heart of the island. The Tatao will help them to trust you. Look, I appreciate your help, but I just want to save Lisa and my friends. My brother. This is the only way to get them back alive. You escaped the slave camp. You survived. It is time to fight. We are all equal, Jason. The difference lies in those who do not act. That is the difference. <sighs> all right, let's do this. Like you, I was once a stranger here. You are not alone, my friend. We will wait for you to begin the attack. <laughs> Busted. <laughs> Eating cookies during the cutscene, eh, Slack? <laughs> yeah, you got me. Go have a cookie and join me in a cookie break. Now you must fight. And if you can't find any cookies, quickly. Pick them off from a distance. Grab yourself a beer. I'm only 14, Slack. Well, okay. Grab yourself a light beer. Yeah, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Okay. Stick to cookies and some juice. All right, so that's it. That is it for the uh, Harvest of Jungle mission. Coming up next, the combat mission. It's a, the in-game tutorial on liberating outposts. Um, yeah. Um, thank you all very much for watching. And if you thought this video was remotely entertaining, hey, don't forget to give the old Slackster a thumbs up. Yeah, all right, that's it. Slack is out. Get this complete video walkthrough in ebook format. Here you go, the Far Cry 3 Master Field Manual. Complete walkthrough, best hunting trips, best hang glider locations, best flight plans, all radio towers activated, all signature weapons unlocked, all special syringes unlocked. Beat the game on any difficulty setting, including the new Master difficulty setting. 153 pages of 100% original slack, only $9.99. Check out the link in the video description to download your free sample.